Hey guys, this is me, the Vengeful Tortoise, presenting you with something that I'm very, very excited about. Uh, so this is the fourth attempt, touch wood that there won't be any more, of this video. Um, the quality, you may bemoan the lack of quality, but in fact, our original attempts were much, much, much worse. So be thankful, and do not troll, or I will mark your comment as spam, as I mentioned before in my other videos. Anyway. First LP ever, and this time, we are going to be playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, better known in Japan as Gyakuten Saiban, or Turnabout Attorney. Alright. Yeah, whenever I do that, it means Chin screams. Is that okay? I'll, I'll just do it. Okay. Well, Okay, but I'm still gonna yeah. do that just in case. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, directions to my cameraman. By the way, check out his videos because he's doing some pretty crazy stuff that I'd really like for you to check out. Uh, his name is 7927... 7927101012. There you go. <laughs> okay. I'll be changing the name later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. So check out his vids because they're pretty awesome and they're only going to get better from here because I know what he's planning and I'm not going to spoil it, but it's freaking awesome. So check out his channel and subscribe and, uh, you know, like his videos and whatnot. So just support him as you hopefully would me. <laughs> Alright, so shout out to my cameraman here. But I'm not going to spend too much time on this because first of all it's taking up valuable time and it's also probably making his hands tired. So, without further ado, we are going to be starting this. I have beaten this game before, but I am a bit rusty, so I apologize if I screw up sometimes. So, episode one, the first turnabout, let's begin. Here you see one of the trademarks of the series. You see the culprit at the beginning of almost every chapter, with the exception of one chapter in this installment that I know of, which will uh, actually buck that trend, and in a very, very interesting way. But I'm not going to spoil that. So you see who you're going after so that it sets you on the right foot, which I always thought was kind of cool. Alright, so in the game it is August 3rd, 9.47am, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. So, here we see a conversation between Phoenix Wright and Mia Oh, hi, Chief. Ah, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial but off the bat like this. There's a lot about you and your client as well. Yeah, frankly, I always found Mia's attire to be incredibly impractical for a defense attorney, but that's just me. Um, like, not the suit, but... I don't know. It just seems like it's not the most practical attire for such a job, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So... Uh, so here we're getting some background between... Uh, Phoenix and the defendant who has an absolutely ludicrous pun for an name, and this is just the first of several, I'm sure, several thousands by now of puns throughout not only this game but the series uh, for names. So uh, I hope I'm not going too fast, but like through the text, but you can always pause it if you need to. So um, plus, if you're playing this as you're watching this and you're reading it by yourself. Uh, as well, or to yourself, rather. So here we have the male incarnated drama queen here, known as Larry Bucks. Oh, sorry, sorry, known as Triple Question Mark. My life, everything, it's all over! Just totally shocked into silence. Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death! Despair! Oh! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! Sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah. Nick! Of course, the ludicrously over-the-top emotions here, but again, that's another trademark of the series. Hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty! 
Tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I... I'm finished. Finished! I can't live in a world without her. I can't! Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? I always screw up that line when I'm narrating it for some reason. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. You hear the... sound showing a new plot twist in development. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Well, fairly simple as far as murder trials go. The young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. I'm not reading this saying, so read it for yourself. There. In the 23 years I've been known, or I, that I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. My, we're already running fairly far through the time. That and I am one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. So here, um, this is where the first chapter is really going to get started. Um, essentially, the first chapter is in just about every Ace Attorney game, barring Ace Attorney Investigations, which has no courtroom sections that I know of. Um, uh, essentially, every game in the main series will have a first chapter, which is courtroom only. But usually the flow will be investigation phase, trial phase, investigation phase, trial phase, and so on. Sometimes you get two trials back to back, but that's fairly rare. Uh, however, I do believe it occurs once in this game, um, and that's near the end, but I'm not going to spoil that. Um, Alright, so the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. Uh, the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Of course, this is Winston Payne, which is quite possibly one of the greater puns in this series, and that's saying something. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright? This is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. The conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm taking a bit of liberties with the actual reading, but... Um, what, how's the quality? Is it legible so far? Sweet, okay. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Um, I'm a bit hesitant to do this simply because I've had to do this, like, at least once before in the previous attempts at this video, but, oh well. Hands shaking, eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions, answered them clearly and concisely. So, this is just a quick little attitude test to see if you've been paying attention. So, the defendant is obviously option two right here. Um, that's really quite obvious. Defendant, well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Um, the LP will get better as the game goes on, trust me. It really is an excellent game. It just sort of should, uh, that starts off a bit slowly, that's all. Just keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. That was completely out of context, but sounded terrible within the context, but oh well. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? So here we have a rather important bit of tutorial. Um, oh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. That should give you a bit of a hint as to what you're doing. So I'm just going to reveal it right now. Basically, you just go into the court record. This is just a way of them teaching you how to go into it. Um, so we're just going to go through this bit of text here. This really is just a quick tutorial before the actual case, so, um, of course her shocked into silence face. Regrettably rather rare, but, you know. Also another rather rare pose here. In fact, I think this is probably the only point in the game where it actually turns out, but, but for a reason that you'll encounter in episode 2, but I'm not going to spoil that. Yeah, my cameraman knows what I'm talking about, so. He's, uh, 
Almost beaten it or have you beaten it? I've beaten it. You beaten it, nice. You've beaten chapter five then. Yeah. Good. I thought you were still on chapter five. No, I was, I was on the one after. At, there's only five chapters. No, the next game. Oh, the next game. Oh, yeah. sweet. So you're roughly where I am then. Because I'm on chapter two of that one now. Ah, anyway, sorry. I, I, I'm digressing, but... Um... But, yeah. So check the court record. Um... And so on and so on. I'm just gonna let you read this stuff right now, because we're getting really high into the... Uh, what, like, ten and a half minutes here, so... We already saw that it was Cindy Stone. Um... The king's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me what was the cause of death. She died because she was. That's obvious from the first cutscene. Hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. I'm going at a faster pace because I really want to fit as much as I can in, in the last, I guess, three minutes just to play it safe because YouTube kind of screws up the running times there. It has a slightly different standard user. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no quest uh, reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then, first a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Now, this is a part that you need to uh, really pay attention to because uh, this statue is actually really important to more than one episode of the game, but I'm not going to spoil that. Um, but just suffice it to say, you will become acquainted with this weapon very, very intensely. Uh, especially for the first two episodes, I believe, right? Yeah, two? Because I think it comes up a bit later again, doesn't it? I think it? so. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so... Um, so yeah, so statue added to the court record. And here you just get a little bit talking about how you always need to pay attention to the court record and pay attention to the evidence gathered and whatnot. Um, and actually, interestingly enough, it is not the only ammunition you have in court. Um, but we'll get into that in a bit. Mr. Payne, the uh, prosecution may call it to first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Bouch, to the stand. And Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. Get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything, and for er, nah, might want to say that with better information. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Okay, so here we have the first investigation phase of the game. Uh, or rather the bit leading up to it, more or less, I guess. Um, we're still not quite into the meat of the game, and we only have a minute left, so hopefully the next video will be really getting into the meat of the, of the game, if we can record it today. What do you think? Is this, uh, rig that we've set up helping your hands enough? No? Oh, okay. I have a new idea, though. Okay. Alright, so, uh, alright, so we'll see what happens. But I'm wasting valuable time, and we only have half a minute. Um, so let's just get through this as quickly as we can. If it goes a bit into four, 14 minutes, it's not a big deal. So it's not true that she dumped you. Hey, watch it, buddy. We were right together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? Brilliant observation. I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. What does he do, anyway? Mr. Buff, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you. And was seeing other men. Crap, I'm really getting here in time. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it lies. I don't believe it for a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Another important uh, piece of evidence you're going to want to really pay attention to that. So I add the court record we see. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several, quote-unquote, sugar daddies. Uh, daddies? Sugar? And on that note, we're going to cut it off because I'm really getting too high into this. So, uh, I'm your host, Vincent Torres. Thanks for watching my first uh, LP upload. Peace and stay metal.